Hey, players, what's going on? It's the DM of Unleashed here. Uh, I just wanted to toss something out here uh, as far as what, like the videos that Keith put up there. And there was just something I wanted to make sure that that was that was stressed a bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's specifically a. Don't worry about like the DM, like working the DM or anything like that. Like, nah, don't get me wrong. I appreciate I appreciate the sentiment and everything like that. But that's just something I kind of want to make clear as far as uh, real world goes. I'll make a reference here, and you'll probably be like, I don't get that DM, and I'll be like, ah, sorry about that. I was just trying to <laughs> do something. But like, if you've ever played Skyrim, like the Elder Scrolls, uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. It's like you get into the game and you learn that there's these two factions at war. Like there's the natives and there's this empire. And the game sets you on the path to meet up with these people and then you got to make your choice from there. Like think of real world that way in a sense. Like the DM lays out a path for you uh, to do, like to, to basically give you a story arc. Um, you can feel free to join either side of that arc. You can decide to play out the arc in full, or very much like in Skyrim, you could talk to the first guy, immediately ignore him, and then go start wandering off in the forest and start picking flowers and stuff like that. Like, whatever you want to do, you are welcome to do. Um, I guess I made, I know I made a kind of off-the-color comment about, I didn't think I'd be, uh, <laughs> I didn't think I'd be coming up with, like, half a dozen species of fish for tonight, but, uh, what, like I said, that was just more of a, a funny musing. Like, I, I the, the, don't worry, like I said, the DM doesn't mind it. Like, the, the vessel, I can at least be speaking of the vessel as the vessel here. Like, I am more than fine with that kind of more, I don't want to even, like, say mundane, but, like, uh, kind of like a exploratory type, uh, session like that. Like, if you want to spend the, uh, the next, you know, six months, ten years, whatever, becoming a fisherman on this planet, and then opening up your own shop and then selling the stuff that you catch, uh, <laughs> you are welcome to, player. The DM will pro will try to uh, make storylines that are engaging when it comes to fishing. You could have your own white whale out there. You could have, you know, your 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 legendary fish that you've got to catch or, you know, stuff like that. Like, the DM will, the DM will adapt based on what you do. Now, I say that because uh, based on your... <laughs> Based on your, your seeming intentions last time, I, I don't think you'll be a fisherman. But I'm just saying the option is there if you want to. As I said, that was just kind of a off the color comment for. It was funny, but it was like the, I had like the the vessel certainly had a good time with it. I'm sitting there thinking up different kinds of fish for for uh, a character to to go with, it was like seeing them how they played out and everything. It's like oh, it's it pretty funny. Uh, but like I said, as long as you had fun, that's awesome. That's that's all the that's all the DM is there for. Like to to give you a engaging story to kind of t take place in uh and yeah i said that's just something i want to stress is like everything everything on the dm side of thing like whenever like the dm offers you a story like this is something i can at least speak for for myself on this one is i try to always uh give you at least two options that you can go with the story like you know where where one of those options isn't necessarily death like because death is always an option <laughs> believe it or not the dm is not trying to kill you but uh but yeah, like the, the with with like the the DM specific stories, like if he has a a saga for you to play out, like you probably always have at least two options. Then you'll probably have a lot more sometimes, and then you you know as a player, you can probably come up with some off the wall things that the DM would have never thought of. But you are also very welcome to walk off that path and do your own thing. The DM will adapt and the DM will improvise. And like I said, it's one of those ones like if you if you decide you like you like really like fishing on this planet, your new planet at like you do it the next session. Like the DM will probably start putting a lot more work into the uh, the 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 bi what's it called the the biological diversity of the planet. Like yeah, like there's there's some things he imagined out, like some wildlife that's out there, but it's like if you want to become a hunter or a fisher, then emphasis on the DM's notes between sessions will go towards creating, you know, more interesting uh hunts for you to go on or creatures to find or like, you know, stories to go along with that. So I just that's just something I wanted to let you know. Like don't feel like you've got to shy away from from anything like that because you feel like you're either you know, taxing the DM or uh, you know, anything like that. Like, you know, like the, the the DM might not, not be having fun. Like, the, the DM just likes, you know, real world in general. Like, the DM is actually a fan, believe it or not. <laughs> That's why I got into this business. Um, 
but yeah, that's that's just something for you to keep in mind. And like I said, that this kind of applies to all players in that regard. Like I said, you can definitely think it as like you know, if you if you find yourself in a corner, like unless you put yourself in that corner, then yeah, obviously the DM's gonna put you out. But like if the DM throws something at you, like you, you're you're not likely in a corner unless you work yourself there. <laughs> you can feel free to go off the path and uh, catch butterflies and pick flowers and do whatever you want. I know I've I know the, the vessel has personally done that in Skyrim. There was a there's a funny thing like you can add some mods and stuff like that where uh, it has like realistic uh, hunting mechanics or not hunting mechanics so much, but it's like uh, like uh, yields from animals. So you can actually go hunt and then you can set up a shop and you can basically be a a hunter slash butcher or like someone who's like an alchemist who goes out and collects herbs and stuff and comes up with new combinations for things. Like, that's this is Skyrim talking, but it's just, like, that kind of thing where it's like, yeah, there's a, there's a story to Skyrim, and it's an epic story, and it's like, you're the you're the hero of it, but you know what? You don't need to be the hero of it. You can go out there and set up a shop, start selling potions to people, like, in the town and make money off it. Like, that, that could be your story. And like I said, the same, you know, the DM definitely borrows that with real world. It's like, you don't have to follow the arc. You don't have to follow the main story. You know, you might be able to come back to it later. You, you might be able to like, well, we'll hold off on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go learn to be a fisherman first and <laughs> start a family and all this stuff like that. You're, <coughs> you're welcome to pursue that. Uh, yeah. So that's just something I wanted to put out there as far as like to keep in mind whenever, uh, whenever you, whenever you or your character specifically makes choices. Like, yeah, don't feel like you, you have to cave to the DM at all in that regard. <laughs>